Please come, Ajit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please. So, Aditya, please introduce uh, uh, briefly. Sir, my name is Aditya Sharma. I was born and brought up in Chandigarh. I completed my schooling from St. Anne's Convent School, Chandigarh. I did my graduation, which was MBBS, from Government Medical College and Hospital, Chandigarh. I play basketball. I have a keen interest in horology and I maintain two blogs. So, uh, uh, Aditya, you are a doctor. So, from medical profession to a civil service profession, very different ones. How? What attracts you to the civil services? Sir, when I was in class 10, I did not know about the civil services. My elder sister, she is a doctor. She motivated me to join the medical profession. Sir, so I started off with my MBBS and I enjoyed it thoroughly. But during my course, sir, I realized that health is only one of the many deprivations present in society. As an administrator, I can work in sectors like education, sanitation, women empowerment. Also, sir, during the COVID pandemic, we realized that there was a growing association between the doctors and the administrators. And at times, there was some miscommunication between the two. Sir, I was also inspired by Dr. Nipun Jindal, who is a pass out from our college and is currently the district collector of Kangra. And he did phenomenal work during the COVID pandemic. Can we make it shorter? Yes, sir. So, all the in story, all, sir, huh? I believe it will uh, lead me to a more diverse, <coughs> broad and a dynamic lifestyle to serve the nation, sir. So, how would you use your medical science uh, uh, knowledge uh, into civil services? Suppose if you get into the IAS. <coughs> sir, during my medical education, I have realized that certainly prevention is better than cure. And sir, most of the diseases that occur, they are due to issues like sanitation and lack of education and awareness. So I think, sir, this ground reality that I have found, sir, I think it will be useful. Sir, I visited my friend who is posted as a medical officer in Karsog in Mandi in Himachal Pradesh. And I found out, sir, that he does not have adequate instruments, like he does not have an ECG machine to diagnose ventricular fibrillation. Sir, he does not have an autoclave, so he is not able to... You know, sterilize the but instruments. Tell me, Aditya, uh, I have understood what you are trying to say is that once you got get into the service, you will provide all this. But it is to, it is not a novel idea. Everyone would must be trying, striving to as collector or as medical secretary of the state government must be trying to get all this. But there may not be resources enough to 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 bring all these things. There is no. Uh, dearth of ideas. So, what special, I mean, you would uh, uh, bring uh, or extra contribution that you would make? Sir, the qualities of empathy, objectivity, clinical precision and pragmatism that I have inculcated in my course, sir, I think that will be useful in the services. Okay. So, let's talk about the, you know, the, 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 uh, the news uh, that COVID is again spreading its wings in India. And uh, there was a report that the positivity rate is going up. Even Delhi has gone up. So has Maharashtra and other places. So what chances do you see to have another, another wave of COVID in India? Sir, as per reports, the COVID intensity has certainly increased. But the actual effects, they have petered out a bit in the form that the mortality and morbidity rates have decreased via the COVID virus. But at the same time, I believe, sir, we may, might have become a little complacent after the last wave. So we should shore up our uh, infrastructure and we should still maintain the social distancing and the wearing of masks and the usage of sanitizers so as to prevent another pandemic. Sir. Uh, there are still, you know, a shortage of medical colleges in India. So what is the way out? Sir, I think strengthening of the existing institutes can be a key. Sir, we can increase the number of seats via um, making more buildings in the existing medical colleges. Like Punjab has a very ambitious target of opening up 23 medical colleges in each of the new districts. And in the recent budget, they have started off with two new medical colleges in Kapoorsala and Hoshiarpur. So I think along with increasing of the medical colleges, strengthening of the existing ones can be a key, sir. What if the government doesn't have the resource to set up more medical colleges? Sir, then telemedicine, which have which has evolved during the COVID pandemic, I think, sir, tele tele education 
for the MBBS candidates can also be done. Sir. You mean to say MBBS can be taught through telemedicine? Sir, the theoretical course can certainly be taught via tele-education. But sir, how would you dissect and do the the dissection of human being, human body? Sir, the laboratory system that needs to be done in the medical needs college. To be done. Can you not ask private hospitals to open medical colleges? Sir, private colleges can certainly be asked to open up medical colleges, but I think the uh, fee structure would be largely very high as compared to the subsidized government fees. So that would be only catering to a few segments of the population. Foreign universities now, irrespective when they will have no control over fees, then why not have private hospitals? private sector involved in making medical colleges here itself? Sir, private colleges certainly exist even today like MMU Solon. But sir, the fee structure is very high in the scenario of even 1 crore for one degree. All right. So, yes. thank you Aditya. I pass on to our member. Thank you sir. So, Aditya, you graduated at the time of COVID. In COVID yes. time, you were there studying. Is it not? Yes. Sir. So, <coughs> how did it affect your... Uh, uh, courses? Sir, the main loss I think was actually our college was shut down for three months because of the COVID pandemic but afterwards we started off with social distancing and the college resumed. So at that time sir there was loss of our clinical time. We were not able to meet the patients and also sir there was we were not allowed to go into the respiratory units wherein we could not observe those patients properly. So I think, sir, these were the losses that happened. And what were the uh, key learnings from that episode? COVID episode of say one and a half year or whatever. Sir, the key learning was that health should not be taken for granted. That we had been complacent earlier, but now we need to strengthen. And sir, the another key learning was that we should come together and work forward together. And also we have seen the rise of the public-private partnerships in the healthcare sector. For example, the COVID app. That helped us to vaccinate over 100 crore people. So that was done via the public-private partnership. Sir. Do you think tuberculosis can be eradicated in the time frame given by government of India? Sir, if we put a concerted effort, then yes, tuberculosis may be eliminated rather than eradicated, sir, from India. And uh, but, sir, this needs prudent steps and uh, a high intensity of action to achieve it in the given time frame. Sir. What are the roadblocks? Sir, in the, achieving the target, sir, the first roadblock is the strengthening of the private uh, of the uh, ter, of the rural PHCs, because sir, the rural PHCs are not very strong and the referral system is weak. The connectivity is poor, so most of the patients are undiagnosed. Sir, second is the availability of quality medicines. The Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushadi Yojana has started to give generic medicines a boost, and that needs to be ramped up as well, sir. Also, I feel, sir, the feedback and the follow-up system. That needs to be strengthened so that the patients are totally eliminated from the disease. Another worrying disease is cancer. And by the time we disease uh, detect cancer, most of the times it's too late. So, what do you think should be done so that cancer is detected at early stage? Sir, I think time to time investigations hmm, should be but done. But the rural population doesn't even care for normal diseases. <coughs> Sir, so the first step would be to increase awareness because at present the rural population, for example, a study was conducted in Haryana where it was found that only 11% of female adolescents knew about the reproductive health problems of their age. So first step would be awareness. Second would be increasing the access. For example, a study by WHO showcased that only 65% of the rural population had access to OPD services. And sir, the third would be increasing the affordability because at present the out-of-pocket expenditure is 45%, which is very high, sir. Sir, Adit, you know, Adit, you know that Prakash Singh's recommendation, that cases recommendation Sorry. in police department uh, improvement, Supreme Court had ordered some guidelines were there. Sir, I remember there were some guidelines, <laughs> but I am not sure exactly. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Uh, Adit, uh, very frequently we watch on televisions about. Uh, the villagers attacking doctors when something goes wrong, some patient dies. It's a quite, uh, I mean, uh, regular type of thing in the rural areas. As an administrator, what should be certain steps which uh, are advisable or which you are going to take to prevent such type of attacks on doctors? 
generally you, have, you must have seen such type of scenes at the television you know so it's a very sorry state of affair so what steps can you suggest to prevent such type of attacks on doctors sir this majorly the challenge has arisen in recent times due to the advent of social media which has percolated to the rural areas and the advent of google so sir at the same time patients they search their symptoms and they do not understand the gravity of the situation as it is and sir because the patient might be critical but the patients they do not think so yeah okay that i know but steps what steps you are going to take sir i will raise the awareness about certain diseases i will try to weed out fake news and sir improve the health awareness in the in the village as such sir secondly i think there should be strengthening of the security system of the hospitals because even in gmc at chandigarh also sir there is only outside the opd there is a guard and sir he can only just uh, request the patients not to come but sir when a mob comes it is not advisable that some action should be taken as such so i think strengthening of the security system of the hospitals can be done and sir third i think strengthening of the infrastructure as such because if the doctors have adequate facilities because sir like i mentioned there was no ecg <coughs> so my friend could not detect the ventricular fibrillation so if the infrastructure is strengthened then such cases of mortality will decrease and overall these issues will reduce as well sir aditya can you tell me uh, certain problems that the medical sector face in northeastern region the rural population of northeast in northeast you know seven or eight states are there so what are the specific problems of northeast as far as the medical uh, welfare is concerned sir recently we saw a case in the northeast that a mother had to deliver a child due to lack of adequate uh, reproductive health facilities yeah yeah i know that uh, so sir, so oh. first would be that there is a shortage of gynecologists and obstetricians and sir sometimes unsafe abortions occur which are the third leading cause of maternal mortality in india So, sir, I think the number of medical officers must be increased in the northeast region. Secondly, improving of the connectivity between the primary health centers, the district hospitals, and the tertiary centers that should be addressed too. And and sir, finally, I believe the adequate drugs uh, and instruments should be provided to the northeast region so that they can cure the diseases, sir. This National Family Health Survey five, it has come. Yes, uh, I think last year it was there, no. so in many parameters uh, the growth is i mean the improvement is noteworthy can you tell me there are certain parameters where the growth is not very satisfactory so the mater- maternal mortality rate is 97 per 100000 live births sir which is very less as compared to the international standards so i think that is one component sir second the infant mortality rate is 35 per 1000 live births this is also a shocking number and sir thirdly the non communicable diseases like diabetes and hypertension they have an incidence of 30% in india so sir that is the third challenge i think aditya the mbbs degree of india is it recognized outside india yes sir i i believe it is on a reciprocal basis with some nations sir but we have to give an entry exam for example for the us mle we have to give for admission to a us medical school we have to give the us mle exam and for the uk we have to give the plab exam and then our mbbs degrees are recognized sir. and our doctors from abroad are they allowed uh, to practice in india sir they can only practice after giving the fmg entrance exam for india sir thank you aditya thank you sir aditya what is difference between greenfield city and green city sir greenfield cities are projects that are being started right now like brownfield uh, cities are those on which development already prior development has occurred and they are developing again and sir green cities are those cities on which a focus on environmental issues are sir granted so chandigarh is a green city or a greenfield city sorry sir i don't know sir exactly now today there was a news item that us senate Uh, has passed a resolution uh, to approve the macmoran line are you aware of this sir i have not read about okay, this no, no problem can you tell me what actions government of india has taken in the recent past to uh, uh, you know to meet our financial requirement for climate change mitigation sir first we have started off with the panch amrit 
in which sir we have focused on five points and one of them is climate financing sir we have also one of our main agendas in g20 has been environment we have strived to set up a new climate fund and we have also contributed in the global climate fund gcf which was made last year and sir also we have brought out the life movement which is the lifestyle for environment sir i think these are the factors that we have worked upon so recently in jammu riyasi area the lithium has been found lithium this ore has been found so they are saying that it, it may be a game changer in our uh, particularly chip manufacturing so do you see any challenge also in that extraction of lithium from the ore sir i am not aware of the exact uh, mechanism how lithium is extracted from the ore but i think it will require considerable time energy infrastructure sir that would be a challenge sir now one mega uh, multi modal transport hub including a township is proposed in greater nicobar island and there is a um, quite a i would say serious objection by environmentalists because that is a highly eco, eco uh, fragile i mean very environmentally fragile area so there, there is a threat to the local tribes and forest uh, population so still government of india is planning to go ahead with this what is your view on this sir the concern is uh, certainly very important because it is a very environmentally critical region and it also has biosphere reserves and national parks sir a proper environmental impact assessment should be conducted and sir uh, all the stakeholders should be involved in the decision making process like we have seen in the case of kerala like the garbage dumps they are on fire so i think we should avoid a similar situation in the great andaman reserve and we should take development in hand in hand with ecological conservation so sir experts comments should be first included in the eia along with the decision of the people living there as well sir now uh, but are your views on same sex marriage now honorable supreme court has constituted a constitutional bench so what what, what is your view on this issue sir the supreme court has said that it will impact our societal ethos and our culture but at the same time i believe the time is now ripe that this should be legalized as it has been done in other countries the live in sexual relationships of the same sex are allowed but the marriages are not but i think it needs to be relooked into and sir all the stakeholders taken into consideration and i think it can be legalized soon sir right thank you thank you adit thank you sir so aditya you are from chandigarh so there is always dispute between punjab and haryana over the claim of chandigarh what's your take on the on that sir chandigarh today has a cosmopolitan culture it has a mixture of many different traditions people religions so i think the people of chandigarh at this time they like a status quo approach to this as the recently the central service rules have been applied in chandigarh and there have been modifications in the bbmb board so i think these are good for the chandigarh people and a status quo approach can be preferred at this time unless punjab and haryana come together on a common agreement sir uh, why do we see very less planned cities in india sir there is rapid development and industrialization in chandigarh the population is rapidly expanding so at times there is not enough time for them to develop for example even in chandigarh in the peripheral regions like zirakpur and even sir karar there are a lot of haphazard industrialization so i think first there should be a proper and planned assessment and reorganization of the area before such suburbs develop into giant industrial hubs sir uh, if you were to be dm of any <coughs> district in punjab how would you address the issue of drug abuse among youth so the first step would be increasing the education awareness among the youth regarding drugs sir so second my focus would be on increasing the economic condition by a uh, diversification of agriculture sir so third step would be to uh, re-strengthen the drug rehabilitation centers because most of the patients who are using drugs they are patients of relapses sir so fourth will be strengthening the legislation and securing the border of the district from where drugs might enter sir uh, moving over to international relations where do you see the end of russia ukraine war <coughs> sir i think the war might go on for a while because as we can see a stalemate is rapidly approaching 
the west is supporting ukraine unanimously and sir russia is trying to keep up so i think sir the only solution can be discussion and arbitration for resolving this issue like india has done with bangladesh we have resolved our border dispute without even shedding a drop of blood so that same example can be extrapolated to the russia ukraine crisis sir. okay uh, you uh, are interested in horology so wrist watches and study of time so let me ask you a question on time zone why india is having only one time zone due to its huge geography two time zones may be advantageous so what's your opinion on this sir i personally believe that once we have done enough discussion and arbitration and we have talked with the experts india can move towards multiple time zones because the time difference between gujarat and assam is very large to the tune of around maybe some 4 hours so i think the time schedule of the people of assam that is being highly changed and the logistics can also sir take a hit due to this so i think india can move towards multiple time zones but only after adequate research on it has been done and the logistics figured out uh, you are involved in many sports basketball athletics high jump running okay so uh, can you highlight the initiatives taken by government of india for the development of sports in india sir we have moved first towards strengthening the infrastructure we have also started many programs for sports person who will receive highly subsidized education as well some jobs are being created for sports persons there has been the national olympic committee which is doing very well to try and uplift the youth to participate into sports so i think sir these are the initiatives that you also taking. like uh, blog writing so now it is said that uh, content writing will be replaced due to chat gpt so what do you, do you have to say on that sir so chat gpt it takes things from the things written previously and tries to mold it into today's present scenario i think it it might certainly be useful for educational purposes but sir the thought process of the human mind and how we figure out things and how we write with our emotions i think that will not be replaced by chat gpt sir okay thank you aditya i pass on to chairman sir so aditya we have asked quite a few questions from your dev if you think anything has been left out then i can ask the last question sir i think it was comprehensive but i you can sir certainly ask no, we have done our job but if you want any topic to be uh to to mention then i can ask you one question no sir i think it okay. was a holistic coverage sir. all right so aditya thank you we close our interview you may proceed to the next room we'll call you in two minutes thank you Introduction में बहुत ज़्यादा कम आदित्य, please sit down. So Adit, how have you done today? I think it was a pleasant experience. There might have been a few knowledge lapses, which I will cover up, sir. Can you recall any such question or knowledge lapse? So schemes for sports persons, and so some issues on the pharmaceuticals. So uh, Aditya, you are a very, very bright candidate, very bright boy, and uh, despite your medical uh, science specialization, you are aware of quite a few things, which is very impressive. You know, you have the knowledge about surroundings, what is happening around you. Communication is very good. A little fast, you speak. I think that's because you know a little more than what is required. Is it? Sir, actually, some of my answers tend to be long, so I try. To I check that also. Your answers were not very long, but your speed was a bit fast. So, how can you do that? How can you check, or maybe improve? It's up to you. Even if you don't do it because you have don't have much time. Today is sixteenth. You have four more days. So, if four days you have your content, you have to increase it. Better to do it with your speed. Ko regulate karo. But per chance, if you feel that you can, or maybe today, if you thought that that is not your normal style of speaking, and today you are faster because somebody had told that you are very slow. So no, actually, everybody says that I speak very fast. Fast. So try, do try. Do it. It will not be so easy as much as the content will content. But more than that, you know, uh, Aditya, you 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 started your interview not in a very proper manner. With the initial questions which I asked, and this is a very tricky question about 
by civil services from especially for a doctor so there are certain lapses which you have to you know make note of uh one is about your why you chose to go to civil services you started a story who is interested in that story nobody interview whether it is mock whether it is actual there is no time right and ultimately you spent one two minutes in your story and leading to nothing there is no conclusion by the time you you know you were halfway through the story i could not gauge what are you up to what are you trying to say when i interrupted then you said yes sir i i i because uh, i don't know diverse job in this thing to so start with that only don't start with childhood don't try start with 10th class and uh, nobody is interested in these minute uh, uh, micro you know analysis of what you are they just want to hear you how passionate you are for the civil services right that's one then the next question again very tricky that how would you use this medical this thing into your so broadly you know you should be very categorical you started again with your friend don't give examples right he, he did not have this and i went to his place and they did not have instrument this that it's not required this is so well known so your use in of medical sciences you could be very short and very very precise sir uh, medical science has given me the 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 exposure to a particular field right as as i know about my role in civil <coughs> services and particularly in the is if i <coughs> happen to be the collector <coughs> of districts the medical health responsibility also lies on the on the collector as head of the district administration so in that particular in that role i think i would have an edge over others in the sense that i have prior knowledge about how to provide better health services to my people so that is one and the matter ends and later on sir if by if uh, i am made as the medical secretary of the gov in the government i would be directly involved in policy making and my prior experience or my academic knowledge would also help me there even otherwise uh, qualifications like mbbs broadens your mind you know how to interact with people you know how to how to be compassionate to people how to treat them and make them happier so those traits which i have learned in the medical profession would always help me continue whichever may be the profession to aapne apne upar sab le liya ab dost kya aap gaye aur wo zarurat nahi aur aapne itni unchi unchi cheeze boli ki main ye kar dunga main wo kar dunga that is why i interrupted again ki main to resources hai kisko nahi pata ki instruments lene chahiye <laughs> so those look very you no know, childish so you cannot behave like that so isli aap isko thoda sa modify kar and these two three questions are they they are are those which are going to be asked from hai na isli uske taiyar pehle se answers kar lo structure your answers uske baad se then jo high fees wala private when i asked you how to open medical you stuck on the high fees thing now how is high fees connected with you know proliferation of more medical colleges you mean to say the government will not bring in medical colleges because uh, you know from the private sector <clears throat> because it will have high fees so you are basically stopping the development of the health sector and health education sector on one point you are you are a closed mind not negative but closed mind no 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 hospital should make medical colleges should not come in private sector because it is going to be expensive now even otherwise medical science medical education is very expensive a common man cannot uh, spend so much of money and that to it continues for years together is it not don't bring such things you should be positively oriented yes sir 
and what i asked you has been announced by the minister you know of center minister of health that private hospitals should you know open medical college because government has limited resource public private participation and privatization is a policy of the government right from 1991 because government does not have resources commensurate to the responsibilities it has to bring quality of life to the people of this country you should welcome any such thing and accordingly uh, your answer should be like this i went in great detail about these answers because you were quite off tangent and you cannot afford to do such blunders in the actual interview this was absolutely fine let's hear other members also <coughs> so aditya uh, you prepare answer to uh, three questions one is why you have not done pg <coughs> to keep a cogent answer ready for that then second is which i had asked that in prakash singh's case what guidelines were there why governments are not willing to really implement it and what the road ahead third is about the generic medicines that why doctors are hesitant to write it are there issues beyond the so called nexus hmm? so prepare on that keep it ready maybe they are asked okay ah, thank you aditya you are a good candidate you are a very good candidate you have answered well so i will say keep it up as far as optional subject is concerned medical and all that so i mean you got the but i asked you you got i got good answers from you so i just say all the best i think aditya same here i am particularly your personality is your very strong point and of course you have to work on whatever suggestions given by chairman sir and other honorable members fast speaking you must address so that that is something uh, which uh, i think all of us notice so and the best way is of course there are four days left so do uh, you know if you think that going for a change in your speaking may impact your overall performance so then you can even go ahead with whatever uh, you have uh, whatever way you have spoken today but if you can improve a bit i think that that will add to your scoring so aditya you were very good in all the aspects uh, as already suggested just avoid taking any personal name in the entire interview so just keep that in mind on the question on the sports initiatives since uh, there are huge activities of sports in your daf so one would expect a better answer so you could have mentioned about khelo india fit india movement and there is some target olympic podium scheme just read on that so there are many schemes so since many sports are mentioned in your daf so have a look at them so otherwise you are very good so wish you all the best so aditya we have given you 67% today <coughs> one, uh, 184 marks <coughs> this <coughs> this will be your first interview in upsc first attempt in first interview so you are doing very well aditya and uh, you will certainly do well uh, you would have got 70% from us which is the best that we have ever given but for your initial you know it was not it was not a big blunder as such you know but that it starts well well begun is half done right so otherwise you emerged as such a bright candidate you know gradually but the initial three thing and it, it you did out of out of ignorance it was not deliberate so keep that in mind if you have have any problem in uh, in in uh, in in deciding what to say you make an answer likh ke bana lo usko acche se likhe structure kar lo aur wohi aap dekhte jao to aap us samay bade aaram se de sakte ho so ki these are all very probable questions right any questions you have from us aditya nothing all right so thank you aditya we uh, you may now go and uh, all the best so aditya you like wrist watches if you can hide this so your wrist no that one okay this yes. you can hide this yes sir okay. thank you so much hold off thank you sir